Coming up in this layout construction update. You can see a lot has been done. Ballasting, grass, building track one, adding trees and bushes, the mountain, the tunnels, you name it, even connecting the wires to the operating accessories. Many of these operating accessories have been used on the old layout, except for the sawmill, the coal odor, and this railroad crossing. This crossing signal is made by Z-Stuff, and boy does this thing have design flaws! For starters, you it has like a beam, so you have to correctly align the sensors or else it is going to go off and stay on no matter what. Because of those sensors, pushing a car across the road will actually trigger the crossings. Cars don't trigger crossing signals, only trains do. Back when I was running HO scale trains, I had an HO scale version of this, and it didn't have the beam, it just had some motion sensor on it. Yeah, it did not have that problem at all. And it was made by the same company. But then there's another problem, the bell sound. Just listen to it. LISTEN TO IT! Does a normal railroad crossing sound like that? I have seen a YouTube video of this, and it made it sound promising to me. My finger back. This is like the AG bears that sound like Willy Wonka's computer. For crossing boards, I used the Osborne kind. Does that name sound like a Spider-Man villain? They were the only crossing boards I could find online to match the specific curve it's going to be on. I glued it together like the instructions and gave it some woodland scenic paint, but these crossing boards also have a design flaw. Once assembled, like in the instructions, it is too high for the rails. This has caused the, both the wheels and the pickup rollers to lift up and not get the electricity to power the train. Good going, Osborne. Just throw your pumpkin bombs somewhere else. Maybe I'm using the wrong track. Nope, on the package, it specifically says Atlas 3 Rail O Scale. The exact track I'm using right now! 
So I ended up fixing it by carefully removing the wood piece on the bottom and replacing it with cardboard that came from a box when I moved. The cardboard is on a lower height than that other piece of wood, and now that fixed the problem. Now the crossing boards are lower than the rails. Here, we've got a mountain with a tunnel and a bump-and-go trolley and easy streets on the top. Just like in the old layout. Here are some pictures of the tunnel under construction. I used pink foam, and then after that I used a cardboard web by cutting strips of cardboard and then stapling it together. And then I covered it with plaster cloth. Then after that, I painted it, and then after that, I glued Woodland Scenics grass to it by mixing Elmer's glue with water. Woodland Scenics foam road bed is underneath the bump and go trolley line. On the old layout, cars were at a risk of falling off the table. Now it's going to be very unlikely on this new layout. This is track one. The curve is 045, but there's a switch that's an 036. Whenever a switch motor is broken, I decided to replace it with these Z-Stuff switch motors. One of them did break right here. And here's the truss bridge on the incline. And yes, the light does work. I have hooked up the wires, and it does work. The bridge is made by Model Power, in case if you're wondering. That brick thing you see there is a brick mat. I don't know which company made it. It was just a gift from a friend. This turntable is made by Atlas, and these two sheds are made by Rail King by MTH. I did not have any space on the layout for an Atlas O scale roundhouse. I can pull an engine out on the double stall shed, but the single stall shed, I still need to do work on it. The track still needs to be ballasted, though. Most of the switches are not fully ballasted because uh, you know the risks of ballasting switches, pieces of ballast clogging up the moving parts. So I decided to not fully ballast the switches and leave them like this. They still look cool, though. And even the track on the girder bridges have been ballasted. And what's under the girder bridges? The road, with the fireworks store next to it. For operating accessories, I added the sawmill, log loader, oil drum loader, barrel loader, magnetic crane, coal loader, gate man, a burning switch tower, whistle station, middle town station, the sofa king, the haunted house, house, the Lionel water tower, the Broadway limited water tower, and a Pepsi blinking billboard. Done with talking in my crappy voice, and now let's run the trains! 